guys, what's up? Welcome back to the pigsty. Melinda here, and today I have for you my version of a smoky eye. So if you want to see how I got this eye, then please keep watching and um, let me just forewarn you, I will have tried to shorten it a little bit because as I was filming it, it became 41 minutes long and that's quite a long time. So I'm going to try and condense it a little bit because that's a long time for anybody to sit and watch me play with makeup. But if you like what I did and you think I did an okay job, leave me a comment below. If you have any suggestions, helpful hints or something, please leave those in the comments section below. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate it very much. And without further ado, stay tuned for how I did this and I will talk to you later. All right, so I'm gonna get started working on a smoky eye today, but I gotta get the base of my face first. And right now what I have on my eye, this Maybelline cover stick in something that you can see that I can't see. And then I have a little bit of the, the Born This Way Concealer in Light. And then I'm just going to blend it with my finger. On <clears throat> sunburn yesterday, I had to go to um, upstate New York. My son soccer team was having, um, it, I guess it was parents weekend, and the soccer team was having their senior night, so, or senior day, as it were, when I got there, because then, you know, then the, um, the kids get to walk across the field with their their parents or whoever, you know, comes with them and say their names and different things like that. So that's what I did on Saturday. And my mom went with me. My husband couldn't go. He had to work Monday morning and we weren't coming back until Monday evening. So Saturday we drove up fairly early. I guess I got up at 3 and we left here at 7. Right now I'm going to use this one and I believe Creamy Natural is the color that I'm using on this. So anyway, we left we left at 6 giving us to, you know a good five hours to get there depending on how fast we wanted to drive, how the traffic was going to be, and things like that. And we were, you know, we had planned on getting there and checking into the hotel, changing into different clothes. Um, so we stopped, stopped by the hotel. Our room wasn't ready because, it, again, it was early. So we decided we weren't going to wait there for the 20 minutes to get into the room drove up to my son's school and he informed us that the game and walking across the field wasn't at 4 or 7 o'clock at night like we thought but it was an hour away from I think we were there at 11.30 and we had to walk across the field at 12.30 well we hadn't eaten, we hadn't changed it was 90 some degrees outside it felt like it was 100 degrees outside <sighs> so, anyway 
I didn't have time to set up my cameras to really get the full thing caught on film. Anyway, it is what it is, and we just we just made the best of it. Now I'm putting on my um, Reserve Your Cabana. This is just one of my favorites. Watched the game. Um, got a few pictures. He got to play a little bit. And for my five hour drive, that was basically it. The game was over. It was so hot. Oh my gosh. It was so unbearably hot. Initially, I thought, oh, this is beautiful. Not a cloud in the sky. The most beautiful blue sky. But I thought I swept my backside off. I got up from where I was sitting on these concrete bricks and it's like my butt was an egg and, and there was like this this pool of water. <laughs> oh my god it was it was um it was something but I was so happy to see my boy that's okay. The next thing I'm using is the Wet n Wild in Ticket to Brazil. Something else that I just always kind of reach for. It's my go-to. My go-to kind of a look. Anyway, got to give him big hugs and kisses. Hadn't seen him since the beginning of August and met his nice friends that he plays soccer with and came home. Spent the night in a hotel and then came home the next day. Mm. Let me regroup real quick and then we will start on the eyes. So for my eyes I'm going to start out with Max Paint Pot in Painterly. This is one of my favorites and it is my go-to. Okay, I'm going to do a smoky look using the Lorac Pro palette. So all over my... Start out with Slate. Why not? Why not? Why not? You can I put that much on the brush that I put the painterly on. Okay. We can tidy all of this up in a minute with a blending brush. I'm gonna use... That really is my favorite brush. It's my f absolute, one of my favorites. It just is. And then we'll go in with using that same brush. The mauve or mauve up top. This one that I've hit pan on. I don't think I've ever ta taken, no I haven't taken the protective cover off of this ever. Okay, I put the mauve on here now. Now we're just going to go over the top of that, closer to the top. Just so that when I go to blend it, there's something there to blend. I'm putting a lot on there as well. Never have Q-tips down here to um, clean up this inner eye. That helped. Now I don't like to rub that hard. Um, I'm going to go into the deep purple, which is the second one in. Same brush. I just tapped it. Q 
keeping that darker one on the outside. Again, in that deep purple. I'm laying it on the outside and just a gentle flick and a twist. Now this side, my eyes are sisters, not twins. My eyebrows are sisters, not twins. My whole face. Okay, I'm going to lay it Can you see how it's darker on the outside? Okay, I'm wiping my brush off. I haven't put my ponytail holder in the metal tin like I had hoped yet, so right now this is kind of what I'm doing. Just wiping it with my microfiber rag. I'm getting most of it off because I don't go that hard with with the brush. This one needs to come down a little bit. That was the slate color that I started with to bring out the um, color to meet the tip of my eyebrow because over here the color meets the base of the eyebrow. If I go like that, so that's, that's just what I did. Now I'm going back in the deep purple, the deep purple, tapping that outer Who is the bride? Come up a little bit. Where that hood of mine is. Wiping, wiping, I'm going back in with the slate so that I still have that color. So it's going to be really a dark, dark look. I hope it's not too dark for day. I missed my thrift store yesterday, so I was hoping to run across the street. <laughs> Maybe I can tone this down a little bit. Um, okay, now I need I'm taking this. Who are these girls? <laughs> taking the real techniques brush, the brow brush, and I'm going to use the slate again. That's this one, that's the bluish one. And I've tapped my brush in it and I'm going to dot it off. So only going the width of the brush. Right here. That's the brush and I'm wiggling. Back into the slate on my brush. Where you can see it doesn't matter. Tapping it off just as wide 
as the brush. Wiggle in place. Now I'm going to clean this off really well. On my microfiber rag. And I get a new microfiber rag or a towel every day that I do my face. And I've got it pretty clean. So we can go into... I'm going to go into... This champagne color. And it's called champagne. So I bloated up my brush, flicked my brush, and now I'm going to go right next to that and place the color into champagne on my brush, flick the loose right next to. Now I'm going into this color right here, which is cream on the top of champagne. It's a matte. So cream, flick, placing it next to the third one. That one's kind of going all the way in. So back into cream. Okay, now I've wiped it off and I'm going to go all the way from the corner in just to kind of lightly blend it. Wiping my brush off as I go. This brush again. Into the cream color. And I'm going to put it on the outside, just kind of giving some, I'll blend it in a minute, toning it down. Let's go into the mauve again. That's the one at the top that's very much hit pan. Wow, okay. Last little bits of blending. Where's my brush? This brush again on the bottom. I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush and it's called a... Oh, it's called something so light you can't see it. I don't know what it's called. Called a blending brush, so this is it. Okay, I know what I don't have out here. Let me get it for this look. This is the NYX retractable lip liner in black lips and it's waterproof and I was using it as my eyeliner 
So let's do a little bit up top. Again, just on that outer. Let's see if we can't find... I'm going to use a nice little Real Techniques brush and go into... What's it called? Nude and White. Load up my brush. And I think I need some brightness right about here. I don't know how you guys do that. I never tend to get enough brightness right there. Okay. Are we blended enough? Do we have enough color? I'm going to use Maybelline's Brow Drama in soft brown. I don't feel like putting on a lot of eyebrow. This is just sort of to tame it. I go back and forth just a little bit. Catches some of some of my eyebrow hairs are just so light. Guys, I've never ever waxed my brows. I'm scared. Okay, on L'Oreal Voluminous Base, which I love. Lash Paradise, and I really do like this, and I believe it's in black. That tends to be what I get other than the one that I got blue. This is my eyes. Let's put a little bit of blush on and, um, and maybe I'm just going to put a little bit more bronzer. What have I got out? Rat -a tap 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 tap. And for lipstick, this is the NYX or NYX Soft Matte Lipstick. And the number is SMLS10 Broadway Lights. And I like this one. This was all meant to not distract. I'm going to even leave my hair up right now, guys, okay? All right. So that's my smoky eye. My very dramatic smoky eye. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. And I hope I was able to shorten this from the... 41 minutes that I'm looking at right now, and I will talk to you in my next video.